Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing some beautiful spring thrift flips. If y'all haven't heard the news yet, I am carrying 12 different Redesign by Prima transfers. I have been wanting to carry some of these beautiful transfers for a while now. I will drop a link to the collection down in the description box below so you can go over there and check out all of the different beautiful designs I carry. I cannot wait to try them out on several different thrift finds today and see what kind of beautiful projects we can create. I have a ton of items I've been collecting over the past couple of weeks knowing these transfers were coming. A few of them need painted. Some of the things I'll be able to put the transfers on and the project will be done completely. I'm going to start with the painted items, but I only paid say a dollar for this tin, $2.50 for this little tote, um, $2 for this container. The two wooden items I'm going to be using Purple Posies and Sweet Water. These are two of the newer colors I'm carrying in the Sweet Pickens at Milk Paint line. A gorgeous, gorgeous lavender and the lightest shade of green. Now we will combine equal parts of warm water and the Milk Paint powder. I'm doing a quarter cup for the Purple Posies and then I'm going to do a half a cup on the Sweet Water. You'll want to mix your milk paint up very well for a couple of minutes. I'm going to pour a bit of this paint out into a smaller cup here and use it on this tote. I'm going to use the rest of this paint on a raw wood piece. But my tote is not raw wood. In fact, it's MDF and it's pretty shiny. So I'm going to be adding a little bit of extra bond to this smaller cup of paint. Extra Bond is an additive that's going to help your milk paint stick to a shiny surface. The ratio on the bottle calls for one part paint to half a part of Bond. I don't ever use that much, to be honest. I'm just going to put a tiny little splash in here, just enough to help it stick. Now, you do you, follow the rules the first time you use it, make sure you know what you're doing, and then once you play with this paint a few times, you're gonna see how it works and reacts and be able to make your decision on the extra bond. Here is the tote that I used the rest of the milk paint on. I thrifted this for $7 at the Giving Tree, an old handmade hardware tote, and I'm going to be painting it up and giving it a beautiful transfer. I wanted to give it some authentic looking drips. Milk paint is great for causing drips on purpose because it is a little bit thinner than the DIY paint. Here's what we're looking like after one coat. Let's go ahead and give it a second coat. I do not need to use any extra bond in my second coat, only the first one. I'm gonna use my heat gun to dry this up and it's going to help produce a little extra crackle. The milk paint is now dry on all of our items. <laughs> I wanted to show you all this. So even though I put the extra bond additive in, this little fake wood was just way too slick and this milk paint literally just fell off. So it happens, it's stuck on the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and probably just give it some DIY paint on the outside. I brought my flower box outside to give it a good distressing. I'm using some 220 grit sandpaper on my orbital sander. Stressed, and the hardest part is trying to figure out which transfer I want to use. I have decided on this one to go with a piece of the vintage seed transfer. I'm going to use this beautiful rose piece off of the transfer right along the side, and that beautiful pink is going to pop gorgeous against this sweet water. If you've not used transfers before, they're like amazing stickers for grown ups. I'm going to cut off the section of transfer here that I want to use. My transfer is on a plastic sheet and it has a paper backing. So 
So here I've got the section I want and I'm going to be placing it along the side. I wanna make sure I get all of the sanding dust off of the box. And most people would most likely seal their paint up first. I'm gonna be a rebel and I'm going to put it on this unsealed paint and see what happens. So first I'll remove it off of my paper backing. Now I just have the transfer on the plastic sheet and I'm going to line it up where I want it. Once it's on, it's on. So you wanna make sure you get it where you want it the first time. You could measure if you want. I'm just gonna eyeball. The plastic has some grid lines on there so that does help keep everything nice and straight. That's convenient. All right, I'm gonna get it on there and then just press it down gently. The transfers come with this enclosed rubbing stick and now I'm going to start rubbing my transfer down onto my project. Once you get that edge to start adhering, then you can gently lift your plastic. See how now my image is stuck to my project? Got the edge all adhered. Now I'm gonna do a process called riding the wave. I'm going to lift this plastic and rub simultaneously kind of at the same time. This is a little bit faster. You do need to be careful and make sure everything is adhering as you go. And it seems to be sticking to this paint just fine. But again, use discretion and um, follow the directions until you know exactly how these transfers are gonna act. Beautiful. Oop, that was close. <laughs> Love it. Now we're gonna burnish it. So I'm just gonna take a little clean paper towel here, rub all along the image, especially since I'm on a piece of wood here, I don't wanna get a splinter using my finger. I want to slightly distress my image. Got some 220 grit sandpaper here and it's actually already been used. So it's probably more like 400 grit, very, very light. And I'm going to start around the edges and kind of go over my image. And you'll see that it distresses the transfer as well, and it blends in better with my paint. To seal my project today, I'm going with Sweet Pickens Oil Wax, and this is white oil wax. This is a really durable, strong finish for your milk painted projects. And you can also use this oil wax over a raw wood. Then I'm gonna use a chip brush and apply it directly on to my surface. I'm gonna go straight over my transfer. I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes or so, and then we'll wipe back any excess. After 15 minutes, I wiped back any excess oil wax and this box is done. The $7 thrifted box turned into a beautiful vintage looking flower box. It is available on my site for $44.95. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this milk paint makeover. You'll be able to shop for all these products and all of my flips over at upcycledbybree.com. On this a smaller tote, I'm gonna to use the classic vintage labels Look at all of the tiny designs you get. Think of how many different projects you could do with this one transfer. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I can tell already that I'm gonna love it. Now I'm going to seal it up with some Sweet Pickens Clear Beeswax. If you've used the DIY wax, the Sweet Pickens Beeswax is pretty similar. It is a bit 
denser. So not quite as soft, but still a great wax for these small projects. It is great over raw wood as well, like in the inside of an old dresser drawer, and it smells like citrus. It smells so good. I'm going to go ahead and um, seal over all of the paint and the transfer as well. I filled the tote with some magnolia flowers I had in my stash and this sold for $19.95 on my site. After paint and products, I had about $4 into it, so that was a nice quick flip. On these shinier crocs, I'm going to be using the DIY paint line. This is faded burlap, it's a beautiful neutral color, and this clay-based paint sticks to almost anything, so it's going to do really well on these shiny ceramic pieces. I wiped these pieces down with some 91% rubbing alcohol, making sure I got off any grease, especially this one, I could tell it had been in the kitchen. And then I grabbed my Klingon F30, a nice flat brush, and went ahead and gave them a coat of paint. I wasn't worried about full coverage on this first coat, but I must say, look at that coverage. I almost got full coverage from just one coat. Look at that amazing coverage after one coat. Obviously we will need to do one more coat and let's see if that'll take care of it. I cut pieces of my vintage labels down to, into even smaller designs to fit onto my Crocs. And look how great these look after two coats of paint. I did do the one there on the far left in DIY Prairie Gray, the other two in Faded Burlap. And again, I did not seal my paint before I applied my transfers. They stuck wonderfully for me. I'll be sealing these up first with a coat of clear wax, and then I will be going in with some dark wax. This DIY clear wax is super buttery smooth. It makes sealing up these small projects so easy, and it keeps my project look looking nice and matte. Don't worry, I also went back and painted the bottom and sealed up the bottom of this project as well, so don't worry. Now you'll notice that the paint darkens up a little bit here as I'm applying the wax. As it dries, it lightens back up more to that original color. Now that the clear wax has had a chance to dry, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my dark wax and it does not take much. I'll just get a little tiny bit here on the end of my brush. And I'm gonna focus on areas that would have, um, you know, antiqued naturally, like the bottom and around the handles. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of wax. I use my fingers a lot with the DIY wax to kind of rub it in and blend it in. You can see that's starting to add a nice little distressed finish. Let's put a little up here around the handles. You could also, if you don't like using your fingers, you could use a paper towel or a clean rag. No dark wax, dark wax. If you ever get too much, you can use the clear wax as a bit of an eraser. So I've got some clear wax on this brush. Say I got too much right here. I can take some clear wax and just blend and buff that right back out and then apply it a little bit lighter. No dark wax on this one. Some dark wax on that one. What do y'all think? Drop me a comment which look do you like better. Let's take a peek at that before on this little $2 thrifted croc and the after with the little paint and a transfer. This looks antiqued and beautiful. Again, an outdated kitchen piece turned into a beautiful piece of home decor. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know which one is your favorite. Two are still available at $16.95. I used the purple posies on this small apple basket that I thrifted and put a small transfer along the rim. Now I'm using a couple of the scribbled animals, but just the little floral sprigs. This time they're nice and tall and they're gonna fit up that basket beautifully. Look how pretty the flower detail is on this transfer.
I decided to leave both these pieces two-toned and sell them as the Purple Floral Duo for $14.95. I love the way they look together. On these next three pieces, I'm gonna use the vintage labels. It is like a beautiful blue color. And I've got a couple of plants here. Um, again, remember I did not pay $9.99 for that. It was 30% off, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous faux plant. So I did go ahead and pick it up. I think it's Threshold brand, yes. I'm gonna clean these up really well with some 91% uh, rubbing alcohol so the transfers stick. And that will be a super simple makeover. When I am using transfers over smaller decor pieces, I do not seal over them, but I put in the listing that they will be spot clean only and not to scrub over the transfer. You could definitely use a small artist brush and a clear coat and seal over them if you would like, but I have found that these transfers are really durable and hold up well on decor pieces. Here's a look at these three pieces that only took me a couple minutes each. Aren't they beautiful? It is really easy to find these little planters at the thrift store around this time of year. I'm going to be using a combination of botanical paradise and butterfly to create a beautiful spring theme on each of these planters. Each one is just a little bit different, adding to the uniqueness. If y'all love these thrift flip videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up and send it over to a friend who might enjoy it as well. That's going to help my YouTube channel continue to grow and help support me. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button. There's a little bell next to it. And if you click that to all notifications, YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video. If you want to see me shop for all of these finds, be sure to check out my second channel, Lifestyle by Brie. I will be sure to drop the link down below for you and you can can see me shop as well. Y'all have a great week. I'll see y'all later. Bye friends. Design sheet and look at if y'all love these thrift flip videos. <laughs>